condoms. Rusty doesn't need gadgets to please a woman. Oh, hey! Ow! No! So you like it, right? Flynn's Arcade. Hi, this is Flynn's Arcade, and this is 10 Funniest Venture Bros Moments, Season 1 Edition. Before I start, please could you do me a solid and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now, let's go. <laughs> Honourable Mention In the pilot episode, Dr. Venture has invented a weapon of mass destruction, the U-Ray, which he takes to the United Nations. This episode isn't part of season one and it isn't really canon, so I've included it as an honourable mention rather than including it as part of my top ten rundown. During the episode, the family are followed around by a ninja who initially appears to be absolutely terrifying. However, we learn later on that he's actually a technology fetishist and he's got a thing for the U-Ray. Mother of crap. Security! Security! He wasn't trying to steal it, he was masturbating like a teenager with a fast internet connection. Master what? Number 10. In Ice Station Impossible, Brock encounters Race Bannon, who is basically him. He's his version in Johnny Quest. But unfortunately, Race Bannon is in a very bad way. And in this tender scene, we see him being comforted by Brock during his last moments. It starts off really sad but it doesn't stay sad for very long. Definitely watch it to the end. Johnny, I love. <laughs> Ew! I didn't know they... Ew! Yeah, they never show that part on TV. Number nine. In The Trial of the Monarch, Hank says something very peculiar to his brother and Brock. And Brock is very surprised by it. And actually quite weirded out. As is Dean. Hank definitely is quite a strange young man. And they kill clean. Don't let Dean's get in the way. Honestly, Hank, where do you pick that stuff up? I never see you read. It's weird, right? It's like he channels dead crazy people. You think it's a cry for help? Eight. In Return to Spider Skull Island, the monarch has recently been put in prison. He's attempting to scare some wayward teenagers straight, and he gives quite a speech, which is pretty funny. You're here because you've done f***ed up too many times. You think you're hot in a champagne glass, but you're really cold diarrhea in a Dixie cup. And if you keep up like you've been doing, this is where you're headed. Number seven. In Are You There, God, It's Me, Dean, both of the boys become very ill with acute testicular torsion. At the end of the episode, the family decides to do an infomercial, which is very funny because it's done in such a like crummy way, especially the acting and the production standards. So don't be a jackass. Go see a doctor. If you want to keep your testicles healthy, remember these three words. Stop, touch, and tell. To find out more about testicular torsion, you can look in special medical books. Number six. In past tense, the Venture family attend the funeral of Mike Soriyama, an old friend of Dr. Venture's from university. The very ill prepared, the panicking about showing up late, and due to Dr. Venture's sloppy ethics, they cause carnage on the way there. They have no respect for the living or the dead in this episode. Um, Soriyama funeral? Oh, great, thanks a bunch. No harm done, we didn't miss it. Number five. In Home Insecurity, Brock decides to take some R&R &R in the wilderness. Whilst there, he meets the $5 million man and the Sasquatch, who are actually lovers. 
They're on the run from the US military, so he takes drastic action in order to help them escape. You could have told me Sasquatch was a... a dude. Eh? Huh? Well, you couldn't tell? Not until I had to... shave him. What, are you shy? Sasquatch doesn't have anything you haven't seen before? Sasquatch is something I haven't seen before! Number four. In Midlife Chrysalis, the monarch and Doc's girlfriend hatch an evil plot where Doc's girlfriend seduces Doc's venture so that she can inject him with a poison that will turn him into a caterpillar. The relationship between Doc's girlfriend and Doc's venture, or Charlene as she's called in this episode, is pretty hilarious. <laughs> Condoms. Rusty doesn't need gadgets to please a woman. Oh, hey! Ow! No! Oh. So you like it, right? Number three. In careers in science, Brock experiences some really intense sexual tension with the astronaut Lieutenant Boldovich. Meanwhile, Bud Manstrong has told the boys a really horrible story about the Phantom Spaceman which has terrified them. Eventually, the tension between Brock and Lieutenant Boldovich reaches a complete boiling point, and this is what happens. The boys' knowledge of sex education appears to be really, really poor here. What the? What is he doing with his... Think about it, bro. What other weapon does he have? He needs his hands free for stuff. Uh-oh. Phantom Spaceman somehow got on top. That's it, Brocko. Shake him off! Number two. In Tag Cell You're It, Dr. Venture organises a yard sale to sell off all his dad's old scientific equipment, as well as some various odds and ends from around the Venture compound. He invites a load of supervillains there, and they're all, they've all got really short fuses, so naturally it all kicks off. Number one. And finally, we get to number one. In the Ghosts of a Sargasso, the Venture family get captured by ghost pirates who aren't really ghosts or pirates. And Brock's hurt his hands, so the pirates manage to kidnap him and take him downstairs into the hold on the boat. He can't really do anything because his hands are injured, so he manages to use the one thing he's got at his disposal to deal with the pirates in a really novel and impressive way. He weaponises his own arse to great effect. So, did you agree with my choices? Please let me know in the comments what you think of the most funny Venture Brothers moments from Season 1. I really want to know because it's a pretty funny season. And I can never really remember Venture Brothers jokes that well. I always remember the storyline and characterisation, so it's really nice to remind myself just how funny this show is. Please check out my Venture Brothers series. I've made loads of videos about the Venture Brothers and I plan to do more in the near future. So if you've enjoyed this video, please could you do me a solid and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm on a mission to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, so I really, really appreciate it. In my next video, I'm going to do the top 10 funniest moments from the Venture Brothers Season 2 edition, so please stay tuned for that. I upload videos every Sunday, and so that'll be my next one. So, that's all from me. Unless anything comes up in the meantime, I'll see you next Sunday.